hello everyone in this video we will briefly talk important points about genital tuberculosis when you think about genital tuberculosis how a patient comes to you basically a patient comes to you with infertility or with oligomenorrhea it's a basically second secondary spread from the respiratory tb by hematological route what structure it affects it affects the mucosas just like mucosa of tubes fallopian tubes uterus that is endometrium ovaries and vagina the vagina is the list affected organ in this series what is the main concern for genital tb infertility is the basic problem for genital tb as it affects the tubes and tubes are of vital importance in the reproduction it affects the endometrium also this will also decrease the fertility potential of the endometrium and it will cause the adhesion so it will cause menstruation problems what are the symptoms you have the hypomenorrhea oligomenorrhea amenorrhea and infertility and more many times unexplained infertility the tubes are open see in in the investigate investigation of the infertility we can do a hsg that is hysterosalpingography the tubes may you may find the tubes are open but again these tubes are affected by tb they cannot carry the embryo so many case of unexplained infertility you might see the reason is genital tb especially in india generally with the very full uh, full blown disease on hsg you can see the bicornuate tubal block laid pipe appearance of the tubes due to destruction of the mucosa you may find tomas hydrosalping tobacco pouch like appearance at the fimbrial end of tube honeycomb appearance of the uterus uterine cavity because of multiple adhesions in the endometrium what how would i do you do the endometrial biopsy you send it for the culture and nucleic acid test that is pcr if you find something wrong if you find the disease the treatment is as usual as other places of tb like anti cox treatment this is the category 1 of infection genital uh, genital tb that's why you need to get the 6 month of treatment on akt you can also treat the infertility by doing the tubectomy and further going with the ivf in which you don't need tubes adhenolysis of the adhesions and then you can just uh, give estrogen and progesterone to the endometrium so that this endometrium can rebuild or redevelop this adhenolysis is done by the histo histoscopic route so this is how you treat the genital tb thank you friends